We're making some Maltese village cookies, biscottini tarahal, and we're going to have a look at the recipe. We need 250 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground aniseed, and half a teaspoon of aniseeds whole, a grated orange zest or a grated lemon zest, or a mix of both. We also need some vanilla and a pinch of salt. I'm going to have a look at the ingredients very quickly. And I'm using uh, plain flour. I've already sifted it once and this is the second time. And I'm keeping this aside. This is a recipe without any oils, without any added oils or butter. There are various recipes around, but I'm using this specific one that's the oldest, most traditional recipe. And I'm using sugar mixed with stevia and I need to use a third less than um, the recipe because it's sweeter than um, sugar. We need the equivalent of 125 grams. And to that, I'm adding two eggs. I'm using a hand whisk and using the same process as we would for a sponge cake. appears white and quite airy and thicker in texture. I'm going to stop whisking and I'm going to have a look at the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I'm also going to add um, some baking powder, some vanilla, some whole aniseed, some aniseed powder and some citrus. I'm using lemon today and that would be the rest of our recipe. So I'm adding the salt, baking powder, my seeds and some cloves. I'm also going to add some aniseeds. I'm also adding some cinnamon powder. some vanilla. I'm mixing my dry ingredients all together. And now I'm taking my dry ingredients and mixing them with our egg mixture. I'm using my whisk again to incorporate our dry ingredients into the egg mixture. And this is our mixture a thick one, very doughy, and we're going to form biscuits. But if necessary, we're going to add some more flour. I'm preparing my baking dishes using some baking spray. Covered it with baking paper. Mm -hmm. 
And from this recipe, we should have about 20 small biscuits or about 10 larger ones. I'm going to pick pieces of my dough and rolling them into an oval shape and dusting them with a bit of flour. This is the same recipe as the Maltese christening biscuits. The only difference is that the christening biscuits have either pink or blue icing on the top. And they're usually round too. It's best to leave some space between one and the other because they do grow and rise a bit. I've got my oven on at 180 degrees, putting them in for 25 minutes. Before I eat them, I'm going to wait for them to cool down completely because they come out being quite soft, but then turn into a rusk texture once they cool down. We're going to have another look at the recipe. For our biscottini tarahal, we need 250 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of sugar. If you use the same mixture of sugar and stevia that I have used, you need one third less. Two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon a teaspoon of ground aniseed, in Maltese anisetta, half a teaspoon of whole aniseeds, some grated citrus zest, some vanilla and a pinch of salt. My Maltese aniseed cookies are ready and they've been cooling down and started to harden up and they're lovely for dunking into coffee amazing smell. I've used these aniseeds, we can have a look at them again because that's the main flavour of these lovely cookies and I'm just laying them here. And I hope you'll try out my recipes, watch out for more Maltese recipes on Smash TV.